Well, there is a huge debate going on today about whether to forgive student loan debt, how much to forgive and how to make it happen. Today, Michigan's Attorney General Dana Nessel jumped into that debate. She joined eight other attorneys general to urge President Biden to cancel the federal student debt owed by every federal borrower in the country. Right now, student borrowers own, oh, I should say, more than $1.7 trillion to the federal government. This coalition argues the cancellation will allow them to do things like purchase new homes and save for their retirements. Paula Tutman has been digging into exactly what that means, and Paula's specific answers have been really hard to come by on this. Yeah, they're, yeah they really have been, Karen. So I'm going to throw a term out at you, and that's thought float. And when I talk to educators as well as, but you know, people who, who owe money, alum, students, people who owe 50, 60, $70,000, they, they, they think about that term because they have absolutely no idea what this actually means on the street level to them. They also have no idea why state's attorneys generals are getting involved. However, the, the talk is out there, thought float. Michigan Attorney General Dana Nessel clarified her role in addressing the student loan debt crisis in a statement that reads, in part, though student loan forgiveness is a policy decision for the president, the Attorney General believes it's important to raise awareness around this issue. Attorney General Nessel has previously been active in this area by joining with other states to pursue legal actions to secure debt forgiveness for student borrowers who've been exploited by predatory student loan practices. Democratic Congresswoman Rashida Tlaib basically says it is the federal government which holds the papers to those federal student loans and the interest rates. And so basically it's the feds doing the stick up. I think it's important, Paul, to understand we're the, the federal government's the one that's holding the debt. The question is, instructors still have to be paid. Universities still have bills. Who pays when the student via a government loan doesn't? We're telling people, go to school, do all these things. And then at the top of it, we're actually charging interest onto the loans that we're providing. We hands down have done it over and over again for big banks, for uh, even the fossil fuel industry. I cannot believe how much money they get handed out. No one ever asks how we're going to pay for that, even though they're mega billion dollar corporations. Okay, the question still remains. Why is this the lane for attorneys generals and a coalition of Democratic attorney generals? Gustavo Patella of the Michigan GOP says. This is a, simply put, a desperate move by these attorney generals, especially Dana Nessel, to distract away um, from the fact that Michiganders are having to pay a ridiculous amount of money um, you know, right now, more so than they can even afford for uh, just about everything. But when you're staring down at a 30, 40, even $80,000 student loan, the question is, isn't relief from debt, any relief from debt, relief from debt? There's no such thing as a free lunch. Uh, you know, they're ultimately going to be on the hook for that. Yeah, okay, so it's really hard to wrap this up in a nice, neat little bow because honestly, Karen, I really couldn't find the box to fit it into. I, I asked lots of questions, tried to get to the bottom of where this is, whether or not this is really going to happen. Remember, we're talking about more than a trillion dollars worth of debt. Yep, it's got to be paid for somewhere, whether nobody asks the question or not. So a lot of people really don't understand whether or not this is really coming down the pike, whether or not it really will affect them, or whether or not this is really just kind of that same thing called thought float. In other words, floating an idea to see how it's going to land. Definitely a lot to dig into there. We appreciate your work. Thank you so much, Paula.